everybody. Happy Tuesday. This week I thought I would just play around with uh, making links and chains with wire. I haven't really done this for a while. I used to love making um, like a rosary type beaded chain with beads and wire and I used to do some in college that connected cold without using solder. So I thought I'd kind of experiment with that again this week. So I'm going to grab some steel wire and some copper wire and we'll get started. I've snipped a few pieces of wire and I made one in the shape of the length that I want first and then I unfolded it to get the length and then just went and pulled that wire and snipped it. So I've got a few of these but the ends are rough so I want to sand that down a little bit and I'm going to use this blue polishing wheel. And if you don't have any of these, oh, I highly recommend them. They're a game changer. And let's see. Where are they? They are these EVE, EVE blue polishing discs. And they come in different shapes. I've got points. And this is a pumice wheel in the same brand and they come in wheels like this but oh my gosh once I discovered these what a game changer <laughs> so I'm just gonna hit these with the wheel and soften up that edge And I won't make you watch all that. <laughs> okay, we've got our little strips of wire. And let's see. And these can be whatever size that you want. I've made mine roughly an inch and a half. I'm just going to make a loop on the end. And then we're going to go about right there, make another turn. And I'm just eyeballing this. It's not really, once you do a few, you'll figure out where to make the turns. And but what I want to end up with is a piece like this. And then we're just going to keep doing that same step, make a coil with the loop facing up. I'm going to make a bend. But now I'm going to run it through the two holes like that. We're going to make another bend. As you can see, that one didn't match at all. Okay. I'm just going to take that out. Yeah, I'll just take a little bit of eyeballing. I'm going to make that bend a little bit sooner there. There we go. And then our loop. Looks better. That's better. <laughs> and you just keep doing that on and on. I've got a few links here. So let's connect these two together. Make a loop. And slip 
slide through. And another loop. That's kind of a fun, relaxing chain just to sit. You could sit in front of the TV with all your little snippets of wire and make a chain. It's got nice movement. I've gone through and pinched the little loop ends together. And that helps give it some more movement. It's a really sweet little link. The sandpaper disc is another good way to finish the ends on these wires. It gives you a nice blunt edge. <clears throat> the blue wheel will give you a little softer, kind of rounded edge. I'm going to take the same link, but I'm going to hammer the loop. Kind of flatten that wire out a little bit. A little different look. And then I'm also going to hammer it at the bend. I've just kind of bent the wire so that I could get to that that loop. Just bend it back. Make sure that ring is closed. And we're just gonna have a little different look. A little hammered texture. could if you wanted instead of rolling that and then pulling the leg out and flick, hammering it you could do it at this point as well and then do the coil actually let's run it through get it through our previous loop Just might have to tweak it a little bit. But you could totally do that and then just pinch that a little bit narrower. I run this 3M pad over the chain just to kind of show the highlights and you can see the hammered texture. And really, you could run this over each link as you make it, too, and then you'd really get in to that top surface. Let's see. Let's 
smooth that. Let's see if you can see the difference. Just really pretty good. I like that little hammer texture. So two different looks with the same link style. So I was just looking around at bits on my bench top and I had these ear posts that I had started a couple weeks ago. And it's the same shape as the link. So I just took the last link and flipped these circles to face the front and hooked it through the sterling jump ring. How slick is that? I love it when designs just appear. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to make some of this chain and sterling now. <laughs> For the next chain, I'm, I switched over to some copper. You can still use steel, doesn't matter and pre-soldered jump rings, a couple different sizes. So I'm just going to hammer the ends. I'm going to make all my strips of wire look like this, just flared out ends. And then I'm going to bend it over some round nose pliers. And try to get my ends even. And then I'm going to hammer the curve here. Now I want to make sure that the hammered edge is flat to, next to each other. Just twist it a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to start this next link and run it through my two soldered jump rings, like that. And then with my round nose pliers, we'll just roll up the ends. And then you could take a larger soldered jump ring and just open these up again a little bit, just enough that you can slide that ring in and then close them back up. Then you're just going to repeat with this one on the other side of that ring. Then take two more jump rings and connect. You'll have to slide those on. Let's see. These aren't the same, but I'm just going to show you. Take two more and slide them on. And then go ahead and curl. and then finish rolling that up. And I like to pinch that together there, make that a little closer. 
there you've got another neat little chain link just from wire and pre-soldered jump rings. So that was nice to revisit some of these chains that I haven't made for quite a while. Hope you enjoyed that and that you'll make some chain of your own. And I think I'm gonna make some more of this one myself. <laughs> that was really fun. Nice to revisit techniques that I haven't tried for a while and hopefully they spark some ideas for you. Happy chain making. I'll see you next week.